First thing we want to do is connect the air hose to the inlet. Then we want to make sure all our valves are off or locked in the off position or in neutral. And then we want to slide the safety valve on. So starting with your pressure on zero, next thing we're going to do is going to raise the ram. We're going to hit the toggle switch up and slowly increase the pressure until the ram starts to raise. Once the ram reaches the limit, it'll stop automatically. And the next step is to put the toggle switch in the neutral position. The next step is to roll your ram around your drum material. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that the drum is centered up and at the same time make sure you center your plunger with the opening of the drum. Once you have your drum centered up, next thing to do is lock your wheels down. Once your wheels are locked down, you can take the hooks out of their storage. After you get your hooks out of storage, the next thing to do is lower the plunger down slowly. And you want to stop at about three to four inches between the bottom of the plunger and the top of the drums. And the next step is to snap your hooks in place. Just slide them over the lip of the drum and ensure they catch underneath the lip. Starting with the pressure at zero, I mean, you're going to lift the drum up, toggle the switch up, and slowly increase the pressure until the drum begins to lift off off the ground. So once the drum and plunger stop in the up position, go ahead and put your toggle switch to the neutral position. So once you have your drum material up and your valves in neutral position, go ahead and kick the plates underneath the drum. Once all your plates are in place, you can go ahead and lower the drum. Once again, you want to stop the plunger three to four inches above the lip of the drum. Once you stop the plunger, you can go ahead and remove your hooks. And you can put them out of the way in their storage. Once you have your hooks removed, you're ready to drive the plunger into your material. But before you do that, you have to add this liner to the plunger. You want to make sure the cutout in the liner lines up with the center of the plunger and the fluid section. And you can just wrap it all up. And if you're gonna be driving the plunger in and out of the material, then you can tape it or you can just leave it as is. Once you have your plunger wrapped up, you need to engage the drum engagement valve. In order to do that, you loosen the plastic knob here and you slide the whole plate forward until the valve engages the drum. Lock the valve down with the plastic knob and now you have full power to drive the plunger into the material. Next step is to open the ball valve to allow the trapped air between the plunger and the material to escape. And now you're ready to plunge the plunger into the material. Before you prime the pump, make sure you connect your hoses and your dispense gun. Once the plunger's in the material, the next step is to prime the pump. First, put a bucket liner under here and open the ball valve. You know that your pump is primed once you have material flowing out of the ball valve. Once your pump is primed, you're ready to begin dispensing. Once you're done dispensing for the day, you can shut the machine off. The first step is to shut the pump down, and to do that, just zero out the pressure. The next step is to relieve the pressure on the air lift. And we want to be careful not to fully extract the plunger. To do that, we'll go on the up. And we want to relieve the pressure to zero. Once you relieve the pressure on the plunger, the next step is to cap the ball valve and the dispense gun. The next step is to extract the ram. To do that, you go to the ram air lift, toggle the switch up, you slowly increase the pressure to no more than 20 PSI. Then we would turn our ram extraction air to the on position and slowly increase the air until the ram starts to extract. Once you're fully extracted, you can turn the pressure off. 
and flip the switch to the off position. Once your ram is extracted, you want to take your air lift and set it to neutral and zero out your pressure. And that's the daily shutdown for the MVP single component unit. And to unload your drum, just follow the loading steps in the reverse order.